Mission Control, this is GDF Patrol on approach to Eden spacecraft. Docking sequence initiated. Okay, Eden, let's check those systems. This'll have to be a short visit. I'll run your vitals, sign your chart, and I'll see you again in six months. Same as always. <gasps> what? Eden? You can't be active. I have a situation, over. Mission Control, do you read? This is Eden. Request assistance. They're everywhere! Why are you still here? Go! 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 What? a GTF encoded message. The signal's very faint. You're trying to distract me, Eos. You know I finally have you checked. Honestly, John, the bulk of my processing is currently dedicated to boosting the weak signal. It's a distress call from the moon side of Eden. Okay, let's hear it. Mayday! I repeat, Mayday! This is GDF Captain Ridley O'Bannon. I'm in an uncontrolled spin and <laughs> venting air. International rescue here, Captain. Hold tight. Help is on the way. Please make it quick. I only have five minutes on the meter. Then we'll see you in four. We have a situation. We hear it, John. Alan's on his way. No need. Eden's a hop, skip, and a jump from Thunderbird 5. F.A.B., John. Good luck. John, my scans show you're sweating and your pulse is racing. Is everything all right? Just fine, Eos. So, you finally get to take the suit out for a spin. Excited? You could say that. Launching in three, two, one. Exopod is go. Green button, bro. Right. Just keep your eyes on the road. Precision flight isn't as easy as I make it look. Let me know if you need any pointers. Oh, I do have one question. What's that big, blue, marbly looking ball down there? Oh, ha, ha. Here if you need me. Isn't Eden that unfinished generation ship parked halfway between the Earth and the Moon? Yeah, I've flown past it before. The GDF maintains the ruin to make sure it doesn't become a space hazard. You know, people were supposed to spend their whole life on that ship as it traveled to distant stars, right? Sounds pretty amazing. Maybe. But whenever I'm near it, the place always gives me the creeps. 
Captain O'Bannon. John Tracy here. How are we open up? We fail cold. Ah, Eos, I'm losing O'Bannon. Can you boost your signal? Hey, John. No, it's degraded. Boosting not be possible. Captain, your weak signal is playing havoc with my nav system. We have to do this another way. On three, we both blast our high beams. One, two, three. Captain O'Bannon, can you see me? Come on, where are you? Target is secure. All right, not too shabby. <gasps> Captain, you should take better care of your toys. Braid, I'm in no mood to play. I need a ride back to Eden. Not until you've seen a doctor. What I need is to see Eden's system logs ASAP. Eden's powered down and not going anywhere. I'm sure it can wait. No, Eden's supposed to be powered down, but I was alone on board for her system check. Suddenly, lights, sounds, and a voice over the comms. Next thing I know, I'm nature trailing it in zero grav. Oh, back up. A voice? What did it say? Couldn't make it out or where it came from. Except for the control section, Eden has no life support. But whatever it was, sounded in distress. Hmm. A little interference, but life signs? Zilch. Nothing out of the ordinary. Wait a second, I've got something. No. Gone. All right. You win. We're going to Eden. You check the logs, and I'll search for anyone that needs help. Deal? Deal. Lights on, but nobody's home. Logs are fried. I guess we're both searching for clues the old-fashioned way. Eden was meant to be a home amongst the stars, but ended up nothing but an empty shell. Some people say the place is haunted. There's no such thing as ghosts, Captain. <gasps> it's the end of the line. Uh, okay. Maybe you should call your superiors. I tried before, no signal. Our systems are a little more powerful. Scott, do you read? Scott. Ah, ah. Are you getting the feeling we're not alone on this ship? Little bit. Yeah. What are you? Stay back. John, are you there? Eden, do you copy? Uh, signals in the vicinity of Eden appear to be cloaked. Alan, way ahead of you, bro. John, do you hear me? Eden, are you there? in peace. Looks like he understands. Could be some sort of sentient AI. Tracy, no sudden moves. What? Why? Oh, sorry. Ugh, what do I do? It thinks you're a threat. Show it you're not. Seriously? Okay, I surrender. That was totally my bad. Uh-huh. Duck, Captain! Whoa! From which one of you? Okay, little help. You're doing a bang-up job. Whoops. That's one of the old maintenance bots. No one's activated those things for years. 
kind of creepy. It's just silicon and steel. See, Captain, there's no ghosts in this machine. But there are life signs. That's Eden's power core. I don't know how a maintenance bot got reactivated, or why you're registering possible life signs, but I'll bet a tank of the good stuff our answer lies down there. And that answer won't be ghosts. Okay, I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. John? It's vibrating. Which means someone or something fired up Eden's engines. Come on! See this. Okay. Hey, John. Alan. John, are you okay? Sounded like you were in trouble. I came to help. Who's this? Captain Ridley O'Bannon, Alan Tracy. You did find some trouble. Check out your suit. Class A safety hazard, bro. Can't steer. Might leak fuel. Even I wouldn't fly that. Maybe you should take better care of your toys. One more piece of scrap for the pile. This way. There is some serious weirdness going on around here. If I didn't know any better, I'd say Eden really was haunted. Haunted? Right. Go away! <laughs> Whatever's doing this, I don't think it wants us here. You boys all right? I am not all right! This is not all right! Why is this happening? Captain! Alan! Your instruments! So? It means someone has turned the ship into an electromagnet. <laughs> <laughs> Electromagnet! It's not like there are ghosts haunting spooky abandoned ships in cold, empty space. <laughs> right? Someone must have supercharged the power core. But why? Helmets. Gentlemen, I give you... Eden? Whoa. Impressive. Not what you expected? Why would someone restart building? That doesn't belong here. What is it? A ship. And not just any ship. Pirates! O'Bannon to Mission Control, I need immediate GDF backup. Please respond. Over. No signal. Looks like it's up to us, gents. Um... Us? What Ellen is trying to say is that we're not exactly crime fighters. We specialize in search and rescue. International rescue. See? It's there in the name. Stop for mercy's sake. Leave us be. Help. You were Help. saying? Mechanical uh, uh, marauders. Stop. Yeah, you sneak thief. Let go of me game and console. I found it fair and square. So, where are the pirates? They be here, matey! Ah! Oi! Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. Let's start over. My name is Reese. This here's my partner, Dog. International Rescue! You got here fast? That's no, that five-star service, that is. Captain Ridley O'Bannon, GDF, you pirates are under arrest. Drop your weapon. This is no weapon! It's my back scratcher. <laughs> These suits are so uncomfortable, you know. It's been just awful. Every time we have a load ready to go, one of these beasties comes along and steals it out from under us. I've heard enough. Piracy, assault, plundering. Let's go. Plundering? Reese, do you hear that? I like that. Very nautical. You, you don't understand. Dobsy and I are pirates. We're pirates. I told you we shouldn't have called ourselves that. It leaves a bad impression. My apologies if we frightened you. Scrap metal was our trade, but it's hard to find valuable junk in space. Yeah, we days. figured it's more recycling than piracy. But we act the part to scare away the competition and cloak our signals to stay under the radar. Wait, you have a signal cloak? My daddy always said, a little stealthiness goes a long way. 
Your tech isn't stealthy, it's deafening. It's been messing with every electronic signal for 100 miles. That's why Eden's systems were going bonkers. And that's what woke up the builder bots. Oh, so it wasn't ghosts. We woke up these robot rapscallions! Oh, they're just following their original orders to finish construction on this place. That's not a gaming console, it controls the builder bots. Oh, well then. I better turn off the cloaking signal. Good thinking, Reese. I'll just reverse their orders and we'll be reverse back their in business. Wait, no! Don't do that! There! It's bedtime for the bodies. Don't you get it? If you reverse the bots' orders to build the place, they don't shut down. They tear the place apart! No! Ah! Oh dear. Quickest way out is the airlock back to my ship. This. No, I'm just guessing here, but is it no? Stay behind us, Captain! We'll protect you! Take that, you robot galleon! You'll harm one comely hair on the good constable's head while she's under the protection of Edmund Razorburn! And Dan! No nickname, no middle initial! Well, all right then. Oh, that's going to kill the resale. With the signal cloak off, I can try to bring Thunderbird 3 in for a pickup. Great. Uh, not great. There's no path in. Thunderbird 3 is too big. Then let's go small. Everyone, clip on. Hurry. John, you can't handle thrust and steer with a busted jet. Which is why I have a co-pilot. Do you remember where you parked? Hold on, everyone. Traps like build rats. Thunderbirds are go. <laughs> Roll left 23 degrees. Where'd you learn to talk like a pilot? I know a guy. Now! Yeah. Are you enjoying this? I'm not! I feel like a hamster! Rescue. Mission complete. 
Quite the pathetic scheme you two cooked up. We would have gotten away with it too, if it wasn't for international rescue. No, we wouldn't have. We'd have died. Oh yes, that's true. Now I just have to turn in my report. Of course, I've never arrested pirates before, so I'm not sure about the wording. I'm sorry, Dobsey, but I think we're really gonna have to walk the plank this time. How does this sound? Recommend salvage rights to Messrs. Reese and Dobbs, who were instrumental in pinpointing a fatal flaw in Eden's design. She's letting us off. I think I'm gonna cry. You can't do that. Pirates don't. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty fancy flying for a console jockey. Of course, I did have an excellent co-pilot. Don't worry, I'll keep your secret. Mine? What about yours? I'm just saying, Keho never has to know you're scared of ghosts. Me? Yeah, right. But I won't tell Scott that you're scared of ghosts. Uh, you both know we can see you, right? Ah, just kidding, Scott. Yeah, <laughs> kidding. Ghosts, right. <laughs>